Hello and welcome to Fix Home Network. In this video, I will tell you how to set up Linksys EA9500 wireless router without installation CD or Smart Setup Wizard. We will also discuss about the default password of this router, how to upgrade the firmware of this router, and how to create guest network and wireless network for your home or office. So let's start with how to set up Linksys EA9500 wireless router without installation CD. We will do it manually. First of all, connect your computer to the one of the Ethernet ports on the Linksys router. You will see port number 1234 on the Linksys router. So connect your computer to one of the four ports on the router. You will need an Ethernet cable for this. Now also connect your internet modem to the internet or WAN port on the Linksys router. So basically there are four, five ports on the Linksys router. One is to connect the modem that is called as internet or WAN and the other four ports are ethernet ports which are uh, given to connect your computers to the router. So make the connections. Now on your main computer which is connected to the router, open the internet browser. It could be Safari or Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer. In the address bar, type in the number 192.168.1.1. This is basically the default password, sorry, the default IP address of this Linksys router. So in the address bar, type in the number 192.168.1.1. And it will ask you for the username and password. Now, do not type anything in the username, leave it blank. And in the password, type in admin, A D M I N. This is the default password of this Linksys router. Now try to log in. Now, if it is not accepting your default password, then it might uh, be already configured router, or you may need to reset the router to the factory default settings. Now remember, when you reset the router, it will come back to the factory default settings, and if you have already configured this router, then you will lose all the settings of this router. So. Press and hold the reset button for 10 to 15 seconds. Now you will see the Linksys logo light turn off. Now I release the reset button. Unplug the power cable to the router and plug it back in. Wait for 30 seconds. Now try to do it again. Open the Internet Explorer or the Internet Browser. In the address bar, type in the number 192.168.1.1. Again, type in the password admin, A-D-M-I-N, and it will let you go. Uh, inside the router setup page. So this is basically the Linksys router setup page where you can change all the settings of this router. Now, all these steps are given on my website. If you go to my website, www.fixhomenetwork.com slash blog, then you will see all these steps are written on my blog also. And that way you will be able to uh, go through the step-by-step -step procedure. And you will also see the link uh, in the top. Uh, you can click on the link or you can go to the description box and there is a link in the description box also. So go to my website and you will see all the steps on the websites also. All right, so this is how the setup page of your Linksys router will look like. Now, first of all, we will need to change the internet connection settings of this router so that your computer will be able to go online when it is connected to the router with the ethernet cable. So your router will be able to communicate with the modem. So we will change the internet connection settings of this router first. Now uh, click on connectivity tab. Here you will see the connectivity tab. In this video, I will discuss about the uh, different connection types uh, for, uh, for example, cable internet service provider or the DSL internet service provider or if you have any static IP address given by your internet service, uh, service provider. So we will discuss about uh, these three different uh, types of internet service providers. So you are on the uh, connectivity tab and first we will discuss about the uh, cable internet service provider. So let's go to internet settings tab. You will see here internet settings. Now the type of internet connection settings uh, it shows here automatic configuration DHCP. So leave it as it is. Now click on this button clone MAC address clone make it enable and then click on the button clone my pc's mac 
so this will basically clone the MAC address of your computer and it will assign that MAC address to the router. Now when you click on clone my PCs MAC you will see some numbers here. After that click on apply. Alright so we are done with the internet connection settings for cable internet service provider. Now let's move on to DSL internet service provider. If you have a PPPoE username and password given by your internet service provider then here change the type of internet connection to PPPoE. Now in this box type in the username and password given by your internet service provider for PPPoE connections. Alright once you enter the username and password click on apply. Alright so these are the settings for the DSL internet service provider with the PPPoE connection. Now in case if you have been given static IP address uh, from your internet service provider then change the type of internet connection to static IP. Now enter the static IP address, the subnet mask, the default gateway, DNS1 and DNS2. All these numbers will be given by your internet service provider. So if you have static IP address then uh, enter all the IP addresses here and once done click on apply. Alright, if you have any other type of internet connection, you, you will see some different types here, L2TP, PPTP and here is a bridge mode also. You can uh, use this router as a bridge uh, mode also. Basically in that case, uh, it, this router will be connected to another router wirelessly. Alright, now once we are done with the settings of the uh, router for the internet connection, we will change the wireless settings. Click on the wireless tab here. Alright, so now you are on the wireless tab. Now this is basically a tri-band router, so it will pre create three different wireless networks. The first one is 2.4 GHz wireless network. The second one is 5 GHz network 1 and 5 GHz network 2. So you will basically see three different networks. Now here, P1 off. So this will show you three different wireless networks. Now change the wireless network name here. You can type in uh, network name here it can be anything let's try a b c d one then password enter the password here now uh, for this network name try the other network name like a b c d two so that you can distinguish uh, between these two networks enter the password you can keep the same passwords uh, for all the three networks but uh, i will suggest you to change the network names only so that you can identify which one is the wireless network one two three or something like that so I have it here ABCD1, ABCD2, ABCD3. So three different wireless networks and I'll keep all the, uh, the password for all the wireless networks same. All right, so we have three wireless networks and same password. Now, once done with the settings, click on apply. All right, if you want to disable any one of the wireless network, you can just turn it off. Here, it will turn off the second five gigahertz wireless network. This is to turn off the 5 gigahertz first network and this is to turn off the 2.4 gigahertz. So if you want uh, to disable any one of them, you can just turn it off and then click apply. All right, so these are the wireless settings for this uh, uh, router. Once you are done with the wireless settings, go to your wireless computer and try to connect to the wireless network. You will see three different wireless networks. If you have uh, all the three networks enabled, then you will see three different wireless networks try to connect and it will ask you for the password this is the wireless network password all right so enter the same password that we just entered here and click connect it will connect you to the wireless network and you will be able to go online on the wireless computer also all right now the next section will be guest network access on the setup page you will see this option guest access click on guest access guest network is basically a uh, wireless network that uh, you will provide uh, for the guest people if you have any guests coming in you can just simply uh, give them a different wireless network for the guest people all right uh, so that they will not be able to connect to your main wireless network right once you are on this page select allow guest access so this was uh, this will allow the guest to connect to the wireless network now here are the settings you can click on edit and change the wireless network name the password all right 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz here are 
you will see two different wireless networks also so you can change the network name if you want to disable you can disable any one of them create uh, a different wireless network name for this uh, just keep it different than your main wireless network so just add guest one guest two something like that and enter the password here also make sure that this is not the same password of your wireless network main wireless network keep it different than the main wireless network and here is uh, how many number of guests to be allowed to the connect uh, to the wireless network you can select 5 10 15 something like that and yeah the router will allow 5 10 or 15 wire guests to connect to the guest network once done click on ok alright so these are the uh, settings of this wireless uh, router uh, we have changed the wireless network settings also the guest network settings and we have created the internet connection settings also now how to upgrade the firmware of this router go to the setup page go to connectivity tab all right if you want to do it automatically select automatic and check for updates if there is any update it will update automatically if you want to do it manually then go to links website download the firmware save it on your computer now click on choose file and then browse the firmware file that you have downloaded and then click start all right once done it will show you this firmware upgrade is successful so this is how you will upgrade the firmware of this router all right so we are done with the settings of this Linksys ea9500 wireless router if you have any questions if you need any help leave the comment below on this video or you can go to my website and leave the comment on my website also i'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible so thanks for watching